Welcome back to the second episode of Bake With Me, Hoffie's Heart Edition. Today we're gonna do two wonderful things. We are gonna learn to bake coconut macaroons, which you can do several things to them, and I'll let you know about that later. And we're gonna discover our friend here about the challenges that she's gone through with her hearing impairment. Please welcome Crystal. <laughs> Yay, Crystal. Crystal, can you tell me a little bit about your hearing impairment? I had a cochlear implant. It's like a hearing, hearing aid, but it's for profoundly deaf people. So they do electronics through the head into the ears. Wow, yeah. cochlear implants. So they, they put your hearing aids essentially yeah. in your ears um, and attached. Can they come out? Yes, so I, I can take it off and go to sleep, go in the water and um, with the hearing pad, they put it inside the ear. Like they put it right wow. here. Whereas this one, it will go on top of the ear and then the microphone will go here and then it will go connected to the head. That's here. amazing. So you were born completely deaf, which is rare. Mm -hmm. And then through the cochlear implants, you were able to at least have some semblance of hearing. Should I look at you when I talk so that you can read my lips? Yeah. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah. I'll make sure I do that. <laughs> I'll be like this and then I'll look like this and then I'll look like this. I'll be good, we'll be good. So should we get started on our recipe? Yes. Awesome. So let's start and make our coconut macaroons. First, what we're gonna do, Crystal, if you don't mind, can you dump the coconut into the big bowl? I love easy recipes like this. You only need a handful of ingredients and they taste amazing. You are never gonna buy a store-bought macaroon ever again after today. So it, easy peasy. Okay, so this is actually a full bag. It's five and a half cups of shredded coconut. So we're gonna take one cup, and again, I only use organic cane sugar. We're gonna take one cup of sugar and pour that in over your coconut, please. Good, good, good. All right, give that a little toss. So you mentioned that you have to take your cochlear implants out to swim. Yeah, because it's not waterproof. Okay. And, um, but they have technology where they can make it waterproof, but it's very expensive. It's very like, expensive. Yeah, everything. So when you're at a party or you're with your friends and you go jump in a lake or go in a pool, you have to be mindful, you have to take them out, and then you may not be able to hear your friends. No, I, I rely on lip reading a lot. Okay. Um, but most of the time, I feel a little sad because I miss out a lot of a lot of dialogue, especially. Yeah. yeah. But and I get that, and I feel bad um, for that. But it's just so amazing that you have hearing now because yeah. of those cochlear implants. Okay, so we're going to take six tablespoons of flour. This is gluten-free flour, but you don't have to keep it gluten-free if you're not um, a gluten-free eater. So you can use any all-purpose flour. So that's six tablespoons of flour, and we have a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, let's toss that up. So the next part's super simple. We have, it depends on if you use regular eggs or extra large eggs. I used extra large, so I only needed four egg whites. But if you use a regular size egg, you probably wanna use five or six egg whites. And then we're gonna dump just a teaspoon of vanilla in there. So we're gonna take this mixture. I'm gonna steal this for just a second. I'm just gonna kinda of mix that vanilla up there in the eggs. And then we're gonna pour this over our coconut. And then gently, just gently toss that. Okay. So have there been any other struggles that you've run into since, um, since your um, cochlear implant? One really main thing is that I struggle in group conversations because there's so much going on, I have to quickly move my attention to each person. Right, because you can probably only focus on one sound at a time. Yeah. And that would make that Especially hard. in a noisy environment, I struggle a lot. Especially at parties, I rely on lip reading, lip reading a lot. Um, there's a lot of words that are very similar pronunciation. On oh, yes, yes, yes. That's, it's amazing. So, when you go to a movie, yeah. do you rely on closed captioning or do you? I, I actually position myself in the seating area because of the speakers. Mm -hmm. I hear really well on this side. Oh, so you sit closer to where a speaker is. That's, yeah. that's I cool. normally sit on the left side because it can get really loud and it can get um, a little distortion on my okay. ears. Some so I sit on the left side of the theater and I do well with that. So while you're tossing that, I'm just gonna tell everybody how amazing you are. <laughs> so Crystal here has just told us that she was born deaf and she has cochlear implants and she does audio work on film. So she is here with us today, not just as my special guest, but she is also our editor and our producer of this show. She's amazing. Does that make you comfortable when people talk about you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes everyone comfortable, right? 
So how are we doing? Are we getting a good, yeah. good mixture in there? All right. So when we get everything combined, I'm probably gonna toss it a little bit because yeah. I'm, you know, a baker and I'm a little crazy about these things. So we're gonna take our prepared pan, ugh, our prepared pan, and all that means is I put some parchment paper on it. So I'm gonna give this a little toss. You're gonna take that scoop, and we're just gonna take little scoops of this concoction. I'm getting in there good. We gotta make sure everything's nice and combined. You don't wanna crush your coconut too much, but you gotta make sure all of the ingredients are combined or your cookies might, might come out dry. All right, Crystal, so we're gonna take the scoop, mm -hmm. scoop one little scoop, and we're gonna put drops of cookies on okay. the pan. There we go. Like that? That's all, that's gonna be a big macaroon. So while Crystal does that, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna pop these in the oven. We are gonna put them in a 325 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes. What you're looking for is for a nice brown bottom with maybe little flecks of brown on the top and then you know your cookies are done. So we will be back with some coconut macaroons in just a minute. Welcome back. Due to the magic of editing, we are done here. Our macaroons baked for 18 to 20 minutes, which actually ours had to cook a little bit longer, so just be sure to check. You wanna make sure your bottom is nice and light brown like that and you'll see speckles of brown, light brown on the top and you know your macarons are done. So these actually had to bake for 24 minutes, but they are done and they are cooled. You can eat these completely plain like this, it is up to you, but I love me some chocolate. So I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of chocolate on top of these. But while I do this, Crystal, is there anything else that you would want people to know about hearing impairments or being deaf? So when you approach people that are actually deaf or hearing impairment, um, we love eye contact and we like to hear loud and clear um, words from your mouth. Because um, I do notice that a lot of people like to overpronounce their words and we don't like that very much. <laughs> that is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. No, it's, it's really, it makes it harder for me to understand you and I feel bad trying not to tell you that please don't say that way. Yeah. I know you're trying to make extra effort to talk to me. And um, please be patient when I ask you to repeat it. Sometimes I don't understand the whole sentence. Sometimes a lot of noise will happen and you said it and I feel like I'm wasting your time Aww. or anything like that. And I appreciate that, but don't ever feel that way. When you're having a conversation with somebody, you should be part of that communication. So you say or do whatever you need to be able to understand what we're saying, okay? Yeah. All right. Well, this chocolate is hot, so we don't want to grab one of these, but do you want to try a macaroon? Yeah. Here, let's toast. Coconut macaroons and awesome people. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being my wonderful editor. You're amazing. Thank you. Let's see, is it good? Yeah, really good. It's a little hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, pick that up. I don't want to lose any, it's delicious. Mm. Coconut macaroons, can't go wrong. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more information on the disability that you learned about today, click the link below and please subscribe to our channel. Peace, love, and happiness.